Alright, so what up guys, Matt here with Droid Tech and in this video, I'm going to be bringing you something really exciting, especially for you iPhone photographers out there. And if you're like me, who love taking pictures with my phone, especially my iPhone, and love how the smart HDR works with the new iPhones, the iPhone XR, XS Max and XS, you're going to love this accessory. Especially if you travel a lot, this would be a very versatile solution. Right now, I'm actually using the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus with the new Android P update to actually test out the video quality because now they do have HDR mode on video so I'm just testing out and see how it works I myself haven't seen what's inside here and actually I supposed to make this video last week but because of the shipment delay it actually arrived on Tuesday last week but unfortunately our local postal service messed up and this wasn't actually delivered to my house so I had to go there and actually grab it Okay, so without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. Okay guys, so we are back and you can see this is by Shift Cam. And this is the Shift Cam 2.0 6-in-1 travel set with front-facing lens. And I actually bought the travel kit, so I didn't want to miss out on the front-facing wide-angle lens as well. I mean, that's a great addition because we all know that the iPhone actually crops in. Due to the image stabilization this is not the first time i'm using a shift cam product i actually supported their kickstarter campaign back i think about a year and a half or two years ago and actually i actually purchased this lens right here which is the rebel cam by shift cam and i actually enjoy using it but even though i didn't really use it that much because i think it was very cumbersome to actually bring this along and clip it onto your phone but i mean if you are using a phone other than the iPhone, this would probably be your only solution if you are looking at Shift Cam because this actually fits all the other iPhones. I actually did a video on this and I'll link it in the description below if you do want to check that out. So their products are actually of very good quality and the lens is not really that great if you compare with Moment and so on but for this price, this is actually a very worth it accessory okay so let me cut through this wrapping paper right here so the price for this lens kit is actually 250 ringgit and I got this free shipping as well because I bought it during the winter sale so actually I got this at a pretty good price if you consider the sh free shipping I mean that's a discount off and also I subscribe to the newsletter so I got an extra discount so I mean it's pretty good overall so uh, the daily case I've been using for my iPhone 10 R has been this case by Catalyst so I think this case is pretty nice I like the alert milk slider but I didn't do a video on this but if you do want me to do a video on this and my thoughts and impressions on using this case do let me know in the comments I bet they are done out there already alright so let's get right into the, the box itself so you can see travel set edition with front facing wide angle lens you can see this as a red dot award you can see this beautiful design i really love this design i mean it's so compact and so versatile that it's something that i probably wouldn't be able to live without i mean considering that a clip on lens or even a moment at detachable lens would be quite cumbersome to actually bring along i mean this you can actually just leave all the lenses there and just slide it into your pocket that is so much more convenient than having additional item to carry around with your phone okay so you let's see what comes in the box so you can see wrist strap lens protector magnetic lens cap you can see there's a case that goes with the lenses as well so you can see front facing set which contains a 120 degree wide angle which i'm really excited for i love wide angle shots i mean imagine the iphone 10 out portrait mode with this wide angle lens that will really be the bomb because the portrait mode on the iPhone X is actually pretty good. Okay, as you can see, travel lens set, you can see wide angle, fish eye, and macro. Okay, so on the back, this is what is included in the box, same as what they say in front. You can see, shoot like a pro, you can pause this and read it for yourself. So you can see they have for the all iPhone models 7, 8, 7 Plus, 8 Plus, and so on and so forth, up to the latest iPhones. Let's take a look at the side. See the making of memories and the other side is the same thing so let's slide this sleeve out also i forgot to mention that this is made for iphone 10r it's 
put that to the side. The iPhone 10 version of this lens is actually cheaper than the iPhone 10s Max version because of the size and also the 10s Max has additional three more lenses. Beautiful presentation. I really love how Shiftcam presents their products. I mean, it is one of the best presentations on the market. So you can see this is the case along with the lenses and also a wrist strap and the front facing wide angle lens. So let me take all this out of the box so you can take a look at it for yourself. So let's take a look at this strap. Is it made from leather? I bet it is. You can see the strap which actually hooks on to the case. But you can use other straps if you're not a fan of these kind of straps. So okay, that strap that goes. Okay, so we have the lens clip, I believe. Oh, this is the magnetic lens cap. Pretty good. We have an instruction manual on how to install your case with the lens. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, this is the front facing wide angle lens. This is something cool. I think this will be something I'll be using very often. Okay, so that the side, let's focus on the case itself. So, inside the second portion, you get the case with the lenses. You can see, very firm, very good quality. It's worth the 200 euro ringgit that, that I actually spent. Okay, so let's put that to the side. This is the lens cap for the lenses here, I believe. Magnetic, not gonna fall out. Not gonna fall out anytime soon. So this is actually a kickstand. Oh, this doesn't go here. So I bet you have to take this lens off to actually fit the kickstand on. Okay, so that's all in the box. Let me move everything to the side. Very nice presentation. Very innovative products right here. Okay, so let's see what they have inside this sleeve. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. Magnetic lens cap. And now this is their pro lens actually, which I thought of getting, but because I didn't want the extra bulk, I decided not to. You can see, travel lens set, fish eye, wide angle, macro. I'll only be probably using the wide angle, so it is what it is. I wish they had a tele lens. Okay, so let's see how this case actually fits on my iPhone XR. I have this carbon skin right here, which I'll be taking off. Pretty cheap stuff. Putting that to the side, you can see. Beautiful product red iPhone XR. I actually have a tempered glass screen protector. I'm not sure how the front facing wide angle lens is actually going to fit, but we'll test it out later. Okay, so the case is pretty well built. Not the best, but it does definitely will do the job. See buttons, volume up and down, mute switch, cut out, and also lanyard and bottom cutouts for your microphone charging port and also your speaker power button and it's basically wide open in front on the rear you have a cutout for your mic and also the camera if you don't want to use the lens and also the flash so this is actually removable i'm not sure how you do that do i move it down i move it up i guess i move it up yes that's how you remove the lens if you don't want to use it i'm afraid it will gather dust eventually so i will I will give you my feedback on that. You can see the, the case without the lenses. Oh, this lens cap right here. So you do have to take this out in order to use the front facing wide angle lens. I mean, that's quite a bummer though in the design. I wish they actually incorporated it, but it would be very inconvenient to put in your pocket. Okay, so now let's install the phone in this case. Usual bottom first. On the top. Pretty easy install. You can see right here, you can see the buttons, everything works well. The tactility of the power button is not as good as I thought it would be. It's pretty mushy as you say. I can't really feel the volume up button, but the volume down is fine. I mean the power button is okay. So I guess I give them feedback on that. You can see on the back, shift cam, with the grip, so you can actually hold your phone like this. Or you want to take pictures like this. Depends on how you hold your phone. Okay, let's try the kickstand. Like right, slicing from the top. Okay. Then stand. 
hooks just like this. Simple, but only works in this orientation. By me, if you put it this way, it wouldn't work definitely because it actually just magnetically clips in place. So let's put this out of the way. I actually have a lens protector. I'm not sure how that would work, but I guess it would considering that it's actually inside. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the lenses itself. Fish eye, here's the white angle. Here's the macro. I won't be using the macro at all, so I have to forget about that. And so, let's see the lens cap. Oh, I put it in the wrong way. Okay, so there you go. Pretty simple. I think if you want to catch it closely, you can just do this. It looks good as well. A bit bulky, but considering you have the wrist strap, or if you want to put a lanyard or neck loop, that would work as well. I'll show you some test photos at the end, so not to worry. I don't have a nice condition to actually shoot a picture right here. So I'll do it outdoors. One with and one without. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so I actually figured out how to install the front-facing selfie lens. So actually, you slide it in like this. And the best part, it works even with the tempered glass. So if you have a tempered glass, you don't have to worry right there, as you can see. A very big gap. So it's not actually touching. You can see right here. I'm not sure why it doesn't really snap in that well. Let me try that again. To push it up. Yes, like this. This is a bit finicky. Let's try it again. Okay, there you go. Front facing wide angle lens. I'll also be showing you samples of this as well. So the good thing is that I don't have to remove my tempered glass. I was thinking of actually changing to a film based screen protector, but considering that it actually works with the tempered glass, it's a very good thing. So there you have it. This is the Shift Cam 2.0 lens combo. So if you do want to pick it up, I'll actually put it in the description below. So you can check that out for yourself. Okay, before I forget, this is actually the lens cover. Okay, everything's from the top, so you can see right here. It looks like a regular case. You can actually use this on a daily. See, it actually protects the lens as well, so it's pretty good and it keeps a very clean profile. But I'm not sure how the secondary microphone is going to benefit from this. Let me check that out. Okay, see the microphone is right here. Like when you have this attached, there's actually no cutout for the microphone. So I bet that would affect call quality. Not sure. But I'll test it out and also let you know on my Insta story. So you can follow me on droidtech underscore official at Instagram. Okay, so that's all I have for this case. Loving the look of it. Loving the whole idea. And this is my first try as well. So first time seeing this in person. I also leave a link to what I have just unboxed in the description below. So if you do have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram. I'll reply you pretty quickly there. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. So guys, this is actually the front facing camera of the iPhone XR on its own. So you can get the same results from the iPhone XS and the XS Max as well. So let me show you the view with the selfie wide angle lens. You can see it's so much wider. So much wider. I mean, if... You're a vlogger, you would probably love this because especially if you vlog in uh, enclosed spaces, like tight spaces, this will actually help you because you can get a lot in frame. As you can see, actually my arm is not all the way extended and yet I can get a lot in view. I mean, I don't have to stretch my hand all the way out like this to get the same view as the iPhone that our camera. So you can see this pretty good. So I would definitely recommend this lens. Especially if you're not a vlogger and you like to take selfies, this will actually work as well. So, let's go to the rear-facing cameras and try out the lenses as well. Uh -huh.